The surprise was walking into the room and seeing leadership. The first two faces I did see was Angela McFadden and um, Dr. Coker, and I thought, oh my word, what have I done? And then <laughs> Dr. Patterson jumped in my face, and I just didn't know what was going on at that point. I was shocked, yes. I think he asked me what my name was, or he asked me if I was Tracy Carey, and I told him no. So, yeah, it was quite a shock. Tracy is one of the RNs on the women's unit, and the women's unit takes care of women with acute psychiatric needs, such as suicidal ideation, depression, anxiety, trauma. And she has really taken on the role of being a comfort to them. She talks to them on a regular basis. She does assessments for the doctors. She passes out medications and does a lot of psychoeducation about mental health and their medications. I think throughout the pandemic, we have seen an increase in the women who have come in with anxiety and stress. And so she has really taken on kind of like a mother figure on the unit and provides a lot of love and care and support to the women who are admitted. And they feel just, um, I think, really validated and taken care of when she's on the floor. When the pandemic started, I was reassigned to work as a officer, which was to help um, frontline staff with their donning and doffing PPE. And it was during that time I realized the increased need for mental health care. You know, patients were suffering, staff were suffering, everyone was very stressed. There was a lot of grief and isolation. And it was then that I decided to go to PRI. And when the opportunity came up for the Women's Health Unit, that's what I jumped on. It's a family, uh, the PRI Women's Unit. And we all discussed what we would like to do with our ladies. Um, and putting the exercise program together, at first just required buying some DVDs and playing them with the patients and getting out there and just doing the exercise with them. It, it's actually very therapeutic for the staff too, to get out there and do the exercise. It relieves the stress of the day. And you get to know your patients a little better and they get to know you a little better. And that's when trust starts. I think the things that I'll remember the most um, about Tracy is just coming on the unit and seeing her exercise out there with the patients. Um, you know, I don't see that many nurses going, I think, above and beyond to get out there and get people going. And she's like, she'll go to each patient and be like, come on, we're going to do this and like really get them engaged instead of kind of sitting on the sidelines. But going out there and her doing exercise tapes, you know, the old 80s Jane Fonda tapes and her and all the patients out there doing that, it really is something I'll remember. And it it reminds me of like how if we just get people engaged and if we show people that we care and we do things with them, that it can make a huge difference in their lives. The rewarding part of the job is that there's so much to learn and Dr. Coker is a great teacher. Watching our ladies come in so desperate, so vulnerable, and then watching them leave ready to take on the world, that's what's rewarding about the job. MVB, it's very humbling because I'm just doing a job that I love. I love being a nurse and, I, and after all these years, I've realized that I love being a mental health nurse, but I can't take credit for being an MVP. The whole unit is MVP. We all do it together and the wheel doesn't turn without all of us being there, not just nurses, but techs, frontline, frontline workers, physicians. Everybody has a role in the behavioral health unit. It's not just me. And I'm just as good as the people that I work with. And I work with a phenomenal team. It's pretty awesome, right? <laughs>